Hello and uh, welcome to my little tutorial. I am in SL known as Dream Resistance and I'm owner of Fantasia Fantasy Clothier. I make kind of fantasy costumes and I thought due to some prodding by a friend that I would make a little tutorial video of things that I've learned and uh, and done. Yeah, give a little tips because I am probably the world's laziest clothing maker. <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to show you how to make this top, the uh, the under top here, not the actual jacket. That would be far too much to teach. <laughs> um, I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to make the fabric appear kind of smooth and sparkly, how to make the little frogs right here, and the general shading, um, otherwise known as baking. I'm going to show you the lazy way to do it because actually baking it is far too difficult. Anyway, so make sure that you get this template. This is the Chipman Knight um, template for Second Life. You can get the top, the bottom, the head, the skin, uh, skirt rather. Make sure you get them because they are better to make a, uh, clothing on than the typical SL templates. Um, they're also a larger size so you can see better what you're doing and they give you this nifty color-coded edging which is super helpful in lining up your seams. So you're definitely going to want to get this or the Robin Wood. Um, I don't know what she's called, but you can find any of this on the SL forums uh, about clothing making. So the first thing that I, I generally do is make a new layer. Ignore all this stuff up here. Um, make a new layer above the shaded grid right here. Just a plain layer and I get a sort of neutral tan color going on. It's awful peachy pale, but whatever. Um, and then I reduce it to only about like 50% there. Um, this makes it a little easier to see things over the the grid. I personally find it very difficult to see with all these little hatch marks and everything. I understand that they're very good so you can see where the UV map stretches and, and folds and whatnot. but. Uh, when you're trying to make a straight line, and especially me because I hand draw a lot of stuff, it makes it very difficult to see. So um, if you do this, it's a little tip that'll make it easier for you to see um, straight, you know, your lines. Anyway, this is a little too late. Let's go with that one. Um, next, what I'll do is usually I create a new layer again and get a really bright color that's really easy to see because what you're going to do here is create a template for uh, you to work from later on. Now you can fill like that. Um, this is good if you plan on covering most of the uh, most of the body. If you're not, let me undo that, then what you're going to want to do is have a pretty decent sized brush and color in, uh, not like that, 100% <laughs> opacity. There you go. Um, and color in the area that you're generally going to want to use. Um, this is good for panther skins um, and bikinis and stuff that is going to cover a smaller area um, because then you can color in the area that you want. You know, trace out the the general line of it. This is really just throwing it together for you. And then you can duplicate, edit, flip horizontal, hold shift, and drag it across to match, and now you've got a perfectly, well, almost perfectly, symmetrical bikini top with, you know, your boobs hanging out the bottom, whatever. <laughs> but that's how you're going to make something symmetrical like that. Um, it saves you a lot of time if you can make one half the way you want it, and then just flip it and do it on the other side. But for this outfit, I'm going to be covering most of the upper body. So, um, oh, didn't mean to do that. Um, so you can just fill and let me redo that. Um, you're going to be, want to be at, at, uh, in view at actual pixels, pixels or larger. Um, but for now, actual pixels is okay. If I'm rambling, I'm apologize in advance. I've never done this before. <laughs> anyway, Go to your edge matching guide, and uh, you're going to want to select contiguous 
and select outside of this you know beautiful colored line. Um, what this, this is going to do is create the border for your clothing. Um, so you go back to your red fill and hit delete and now you're only filling in the area of the body. So you can cut from here if you want to um, with the eraser tool or the pen tool or whatever you prefer to use. Um, if you don't want there to be seams, I need my little pointer tool on our, this. Um, if you don't want there to be seams like right up here and where the arm meets and along the side, maybe along the bottom, um, what you're going to want to do is take your paintbrush and follow that edge. Now I want a seam at this neckline, so I'm going to leave that alone, but you're going to want to extend here because I don't want to seam there and I don't want to seam here or here or there or anywhere along here. Okay, you get the basic idea. So this is what that kind of looks like. Um, as you can see, I've got the neckline cut up here. It's going to be a high neckline dress. So, it, you know, it's cut straight across here and filled out the edges all along here and then cut a little out onto the wrist. Now, that's going to be on a glove layer, this little area right here, because the actual sleeve cuts off right about where this teal meets this lighter blue and across to the green and the lighter green. So anything past that point is out on the glo uh, glove layer, but I kind of like a adding these little dealios, whole deal. Um, for this top, so this is the base layer anyway. For this top, it's got kind of a Asian inspired center panel um, with, with frog closures. So what I did was take some a line tool and choose a different color. And I'm going to pick, let's say, you want to keep it kind of small. Uh, I would go with three here. Um, oh, no, actually five is fine because I'm going to be filling in the middle. If you're going to make like a stripe, you're going to want to make a smaller um, pixel width because think about the size that you're working with. Perspective is very important. A lot of times on these outfits, you wouldn't actually see the f you know the folds of, or not the fold the weave of the fabric. You wouldn't actually see a lot of the details of the seams, just because you don't usually see that in regular clothing either, unless you're very very close to it. So make sure you keep that in mind. Um, anyway, so let's start a little line here and a little line here and a little line here. Try to keep it two lines 